Right then, we are jumping onto Saint Kid's accounts right now. So Saint Kid, honestly, one of the biggest supporters of this channel um, in terms of gifting people subs and doing um, different cheers, all that type of stuff. It's not the reason why he's got coaching. He's redeemed coaching himself. He's also redeemed... He also won, sorry, an account takeover. So we're going to kind of bolt the two together and um, help him out. That's the aim. But yeah, absolutely like legendary fella in in this chat. Really helps out the channel a lot. Let's do this. Let's do this. Saint Kid. Just looking to get through faction war ideas, basically. So looking for ideas on teams that he's not finished. Um, and then we're going to do skinwalkers for his actual takeover. So well developed into his accounts. Solid arena progression, I'd say. HH, could you tone down the awesomeness, please? Honestly, it's... I try. I try every stream. I'm like, bring it down a level. But it just keeps coming to the top. I can't help it. Sorry, man. <laughs> you watch it be. HH, arrogant streamer. Been playing for about a year. Okay, cool. So about a year in. Looks like we've got a solid, kind of balanced roster, really. Got a couple of high damage nukers here. Good debuffers, good support champs. Yeah, this looks good. Got a Mashal, got double man eaters in here. Got Kaimar in the mix. Yeah, this is nice. Nice. Yeah, good void legendaries as well. Cardial, Ethos, Warlord, Gergo. Nice account, actually. Uh, and let's just have a quick look over the faction wars then. So he's looking for help with faction wars. Uh, specifically, we're going to try and develop Skinwalkers today. But let's have a look. So we're 753 out of 819 in terms of completion. So complete a few. A couple done here. A few more done here. Cool. So Dwarves are a bit behind with. Dark Elves, you're close. You literally just need to beat the final level, I guess. Is that what we're on? Just the final stage. Dark Elves is not the easiest one to beat, actually, because you tend to get a lot of high damage dealers and a lot of debuffers but not that much support um to keep people alive what i would say with this is since visix was buffed she does that protection job really well she really is like fantastic at protecting your team i'd also say Caden hiding down here is fantastic at keeping your team going so i would probably pull um, probably pull Painkeeper out for Caden, honestly. Even at level 50, he's a beast. Even at 50. Physix now, absolutely like top tier. Really good. Silar in a stun set would be good here. But damn for debuffing. I don't, I'm not sure about Vizier, to be honest. Maybe Vizier out for either another damage dealer. Or actually, maybe Painkeeper is a better move. Maybe Painkeeper's heal. A six star anyway. You probably would need to gear Painkeeper different if, if Painkeeper's geared for like a clan boss setup right now. But this team here feels like it should do the job pretty comfortably. It might just be a bit of a slow and steady though. Foley for damage. Foley's only a 50 right now, so I don't feel like that's enough damage. You might decide that... Mm, I don't know. I mean, you get a lot of damage out of Visix actually. So yeah, so this feels like this should do, do the job. You want to go defensive on Caden. Defense with some damage coming out of Visix. Good accuracy for control. Stun set Silar. Um, support kind of set up on, on Painkeeper and uh, good accuracy and speed on your Madame. So let's let's concentrate then on, on the Skinwalkers for now. Can we push a team to start cracking through the final stages? Um, so we're going to go for a read here right now. How can I get my account taken over? You can either redeem with channel points, um, Alti, or you can buy one from the website. Like, the website is like, I'll get it done and it'll be done this week. If you redeem for channel points, you've got to save up the channel points. So, let's have a look. Skinwalkers. Skinwalkers is kind of challenging, actually. We do have a Coronar, though. That's nice. And we've got a Fane. Okay, we've got some good champs. We've got some good champs. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five are actually... This is a solid set. 
you could even switch out so decrease defense decrease attack here on coronar damage with fane pretty much like specializes for the boss fights but it's going to be solid anyway uh, i bet the build is a, a clan boss build here yeah so this is a trouble like if you've got someone who's built for clan boss for a, an unkillable team generally they're super squishy so maybe we'll either have to just change a couple of bits around on her gear like take this accuracy chest off and go for um defensive stats or we just leave her out Brachus, it's a bit slow not got super amount of damage but he is only uh 50. we just want defensive i oh know so we want Good accuracy and good speed on a basher. So we can just top his gear up. Fouries. We just want speed uh, and survivability. And a steel skull. Kind of same sort of thing really. Oh, you don't use Fane at all anymore. Nice. Okay, so that's cool. That means we can build her out for this uh, specifically. Okay, let's start then. Let's start with Coronar. So Coronar, we want to punch his... We want to... I mean, to be fair, the Coronar build's not terrible. I could... I'm just wondering whether we should run him in a stun set, you know. AoE here. AoE here. AoE here. Feels, like, kind of disgusting to not run him in a stun set, right? Okay, cool. So we're just going to lift up the HP again. So this is what um, his damage is based on. So a couple of hundred speed. 100% 100 crit rate. Good amount of health. Got some defensive stats. Coronar in a stun set should be good to go. So we can re-gear Fane now to be a faction more nuker. Honestly, she's got a self-heal. We just need to get some survivability into her kit. Okay, what we're doing with Fane then? I guess we're just gonna need to go. I want I want Fane to hit hard, but we definitely need more survivability. Mainly more HP percent. That's a really nice piece here. Look at this. It, I mean, it's a good one to keep on a miscreated monster, to be honest. But that would be a great piece. Um, maybe this one, though. I'm not so fussed about keeping Brask in a good build. So lo loads more health here. Just gives us a chance. we we'll swap the ring as well for... I think we're going to go defense on the ring. Because it'll get a flat amount of good defense. Look how low the defense number is for Fane. So getting defense on a ring gives you a really solid amount of flat defense, which helps her out a lot. So we're going to pump that one up. Let's just see if we've got a higher crit rate roll. 16. Here we go. That's good. Good accuracy. Basically crit capped. For a faction wall build, that's kind of solid. A bit squishy. If she starts taking hits, she's going to die. So... We'll see how we get on with it, I think. We're working on a team builder right now. That's the big thing. That's the big next thing that's going to come in. So the idea initially will be to be able to select five slots at the same time to optimize for. That's the initial build. Um, and then we're going to move from there to actually start to give you direction around what champions should go in your teams um, based on based on recording run data whilst the optimizer is working and being able to kind of like spread um, success rates of teams for everyone else so that's a big project that's a, a lot of work but it's pretty exciting one actually it's pretty exciting so we'll see i don't know how soon it's going to come we're hoping for the first part at least in the next um, couple of weeks like being able to build five champions at the same time we're hoping for that in the next couple of weeks. Quite like Brachus as an attack based champion, but he at level 50 is not going to pump out the same sort of level of damage as a six star. So I don't want to go accuracy here. I want to go HP percent again. So you see what I'm doing mainly. The main thing I'm changing on these builds is making them a bit faster and giving them more survivability really to do the same job. That's the aim. I do want to pick the accuracy back up a bit, I think. Do I care about the weaken? I guess I do care about true fear. Yeah, probably do. Like it's, it's almost even more important for your 
level 50s to have max gear because the the base stats that you get from like a max shield or a maxed helm will actually give you a lot of survivability when they are quite squishy champions. One of the things I would say to you as well, for your faction war guys, if you're struggling, get yourself up to tier 3 masteries. Run a few minnows, get crit rate, crit damage, get your accuracy ones. It will help you a ton if you're struggling with a specific faction to get the job done. It's an okay build. I'm, I'm really worried about this defense number, but he does have a passive that keeps him alive, so we've got a chance. Okay, um, so Basha is just it's just kind of like MVP of this faction for locking out waves. So Basha in. Only thing I'm wondering here is like between the Tusk and Steel Skull. Steel Skull gives us poison and damage and some healing. The Tusk gives us the revive and strengthen and some buffs. Actually gives us crit rate buff as well. I guess the Tusk is probably the one to go for, for like uh, survivability. So Basha, we want to make sure he's got enough accuracy in his build. But again, with Faction War builds, you're kind of just picking up what you can to, to um, flesh out a build. We've already got the base of a good build here. We've got a good amount of speed now. We've got a good amount of accuracy. Crit rate is high but we've got no crit damage and he's a level 50 so he's not going to hit hard so there's really no point in him having a high crit rate so actually the crit rate gloves can go just going to give him more survivability some like hp percent gloves speed on them i actually could put him in a shield set or maybe i put the tusk in a shield set actually so just to give us that extra layer of protection Okay, Basha built one to go. We're going to bring in the Hippo. I think I'm going to go shield set. Just to give us a shield set on the team. He's got quite high... Oh, she's got quite high base HP anyway. I don't need any other stats other than survivability here. Like, that's all I care about is... Can you stay alive? And can you protect my team? And can you be kind of quick? Kind of quick is important as well. So that we can rotate through abilities. I think there's a stun here. I'm not that fussed about that. I'm not going to build her for the stun. A stun could be kind of clutch, but for one debuff, I feel like it's a big, um, it's a big thing to try and push accuracy just for one hit a one stun. Doesn't feel like it's worthwhile. Would you consider yourself the most famous raid content creator? I mean, famous is a weird word to use. I'd say. I think Ash would have to go down as the most well-known because he's he's done other stuff before Raid. Like he's got a channel which does Clash of no Clash Royale, sorry, and he had like eight hundred or nine hundred thousand subs or something like that. So yeah, I mean like he's so far above what I am. Um, probably next after Ash, maybe. Yeah. 50,000 health, good amount of speed. So we've got no masteries, I think, on any of these. Have we? No masteries, no masteries, no masteries. We do have masteries on Fane. We've got some on Coronar. Let's give it a try. See how it goes. Valiant, how you doing, mate? What's the site that I can make my champion's masteries before? Uh, there's a site called... Uh, what's it called? Raid Rush, I think. Where you can kind of do mastery selection. So I think this earlier stage, we should be fine. I'm only really worried about the boss fights, to be honest. We've got Coronar laying down control. We've got Basha locking out people's skills. So we should be good. The one thing I would say, uh, one stun would keep stunning the wrong people. No stuns there. We don't have a lot of damage. That's the only thing that's going to let us down. We, without still going, we actually don't have a ton of healing either. Thinking about it.
Maybe I need still to go in actually. See how weak our damage is. We do have someone who's who's uh, solid though in terms of keeping us alive. You kind of want to take over around this stage because you want to make sure that you um, save your next abilities for the next wave. I'm not getting many stuns off. Is something wrong with this stun set? Did I complete the stun set? That's what's going through my head. Yeah, we lost one. I can pick him back up, but a bit worried about this. Did get a stun off. Okay. Just getting a bit of bad RNG. Yeah, Ash has got a big old channel, yeah. So the main thing I want to hold on to is Bashers A3 for the next wave. And we're pretty good for this. Stun set didn't work. You heard it here first. A1's all the way now. Get control of your abilities again. On to wave two. Um... I'm just going to go auto. Lock them out first. Great. Shield set's going to give us a bit of protection again. That's kind of why I went shield set, really, to just give us a layer of um, protection, a chance. So, do I fuse the Lego or keep the epics? When I mean, really, it's the question we've been asking all the way along. Um, I guess it depends if you've got any need for the epics. Like Magna is going to be awesome um, for most people's accounts, but it's, if you need them or not, it's kind of your question, Valiant, really. But other than Magna, I don't like the epics, really. So what was my first and last faction that I cleared? Definitely the first was... Oh, I need to slow down here. The first was definitely um, High Elves. Like, I found that really easy on my account. My last was Dwarves. Dwarves was tough. Really tough. A1s again. Just get back to your main abilities for the final wave. Hopefully, I've saved enough. Locked them out. And that's going to be, hopefully, wave one done. You see the difference here because we don't have masteries across the board because not everyone's booked a lot of the abilities that you think oh we should be provoking they just don't land like it shows how how insane masteries are really and and booking is but you won't get that in all of your factions you kind of have to roll with what you've got going on the creepy doll has been funny in dwarf faction really is it Creepy Doll fixed? Has anyone seen anything on that? I saw Coldbrew doing some stuff and it seemed like uh, it was bugged. Night Revs is tough. Yeah, it is tough. I really don't feel like we're getting many stuns off. One stun here. Normally, I f we should be getting several stuns and it just doesn't feel like it's happening. few provokes there that's good means that we're going to survive the kind of next onslaught of damage back from holiday already i'm not gone yet i go tomorrow so after tomorrow i'm going to be away for three days i'll be back on um wednesday evening see how much work bash is doing here locking out all of their skills it's actually massive So this team should cruise through, I think, up until the boss. My only question would be, in fact, we're just taking a lot of damage right at the end here. We're going to lose definitely Basha, who I can revive. Hoping I don't lose. Okay, we didn't lose him as well. Cool. Let's just try and make sure we finish this off. Um, yeah, so what was I saying? can't remember what I was saying. I've done with more provokes than that. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. 
too busy chatting. Might lose Fane as well now. This is going to be annoying if I do. I will. All we have to do here, so when you get to this sort of stage, you've kind of got to slow things down and try and make sure you get back to your res, basically. Andras, thank you for the sub. This is why taking control yourself is so important. In in definitely in faction wars, it's it's kind of critical actually. Just understand when all your skills are due to pops. So we've got a couple of turns here. Start to just get their health lower. Lock out ability so we're not going to put ourselves in danger. Drop their attack so we're taking less damage. Someone's stunned, so I can just avoid the stun person for a while. And you can just kind of see how this plays through. We should just about get back to our abilities at the right time, hopefully. Got a provoke here now, so he's not a danger. He's dead. Get the revive. And we should just about get it done. Really liking the HH Gaming Channel. Good. Yeah, the guys are working really hard on it, actually. It's definitely a team effort, that one, which is cool. Finish him off. Go on. Oh, that's close. There we go. So first three star on the board. Um, what we're going to do, Saint Kid, I'm going to pass this back for you to try and run through the last two levels. But the only thing you might have to do is bring Steel Skull in for more protection. If if it's if we struggle on uh, 20 or 21, Steel Skull's healing will just kind of get us through. But um, yeah, I think we're we're probably about about done on that one. <laughs>